In this video, let us explore how to apply both AND and OR condition to the filter transformation. So I have a movie data set with class rating, lead actor and director names formatted as a table. Let us send this to Power Query using data from table range. Using the filter is very easy. For example, to view only the director's name, simply uncheck select all. Put a check mark besides Terencium in case you want to filter Terencium and press OK and I get my new list back. Suppose I want to find out all the director's name whose name start with George. So I can adjust the filter to achieve this. To do so, I'll click the gear icon, which will take me to the filter setting. So currently I have a filter selected, but I need to change it to begins with. After that, I can type in George and click OK. This will update the filter and it shows me all the director's names whose name starts with George. But wait a second, let us check something. Go back to the previous step and take a closer look at our data. Look at this. This name starts with George, but it doesn't appear in the filter. That's because the filter is case sensitive. And if you are not 100% sure that everything has the same case, you want to apply a format transformation on your list before you apply the filter. This time, let's go and transform all the director's name into proper case. So let us select the director's name, go to transform, format and capitalize each word. Select insert. And now if you see the filter row column, you get the George Sydney in your filtered list. So when using a filter, it is essential to keep this in mind. Now to filter out the movie director's name with a movie rating of parental guidance, you can either apply a second filter or click on the gear icon and select advanced option and add more conditions over here. So in this case, the filter is applied first to the director's name whose name starts with George and then we'll apply a filter for previously filtered directors whose movie rating is parental guidance. So let us select the rating contains parental guidance. In addition to and we could also select or condition and we can add more clauses by clicking on this button. So press OK. So I have director's name whose rating is parental guidance. But when using OR condition and AND condition, we must be cautious. Suppose I'm interested in two class categories, action and crime. So I'll choose both in the drop down menu and press OK. Now, if we look closely at what the filter is doing behind the scenes by clicking on the gear icon, here we can see that it is using an OR condition. In other words, it selects the record with either action or crime in the relevant column. We can also verify this in the formula bar. Now let's say I want to exclude all records with restricted in the rating columns, but still include those with action or crime. To achieve this, I will filter on these two categories, but exclude anyone whose rating column has restricted. I will be considering switching to the advanced tab and adding a clause. It's an AND condition because I want either action or crime and I want to ensure that the rating does not contain any restricted rating. So in this case, I'm confident that the rating column does not require any formatting. So I'll select rating does not contain restricted. Press OK. Notice that I still have restricted column in the rating column under the class action. And I cannot see a class and rating combination of restricted and crime. So what has happened here? Notice the formula bar. Whenever there are AND and OR conditions together, Power Query will solve the OR condition and then the AND condition. So there are two options which I know to solve this problem. The first is just to add brackets covering the OR condition. So it will solve the bracket first and then the end condition. So let us do that. And click anywhere outside the formula bar. So now you see all the restricted columns disappear. Also notice that the gear icon disappears when you manually change the formula bar. It is because you have made a change that is not present in the filtered row UI. The second option is to filter both rows separately. This will increase one more applied step, but the problem will be Solved. So let me just delete this filter step. Select action and crime from this class column and then rating. Go to text filter, does not contain, restricted. 
So we have two applied steps of filter row over here, but our problem is solved. It is recommended to sort your filtered results after filtering, especially when dealing with large data set. Sorting before filtering may not significantly impact small data set, but when working with extensive data set, it can use up a lot of memory. So you can speed up your query calculation by sorting your reduced filtered results. So now let us load this data to Power Query. So go to home, close and load, close and load to existing worksheet and I will paste my data here. Press OK. So now our task is completed. So I hope you have liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.